you hear me? All right. So far today, the world's population has increased with around 80,000 people. Uh, we're roughly 7.5 billion people, and still 1.3 billion of these still lack access to energy. We need more energy, but we also have the highest levels of carbon dioxide ever measured. How are we going to solve this problem? There is a solution. The good news is that today solar power is in many countries in the world the cheapest source of energy of all sorts. This is good. And six hours from the sun corresponds to the yearly global need. You have seen solar parks coming up all over the world the last years. It's also been introduced in households. We've seen a big push, mainly in Germany, uh, followed by Spain. If you go to Germany today, you will see houses and barns with PV installations all over. This is good. But with Exeger, we need, we want to, we need to accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. And we're going to do this with a new technology. We have invented a new solar cell, the world's best indoor solar cell. What you see on the screen here, or in my hand, is an e-reader with our solar cell integrated in the front cover. When I place this on my desk in normal indoor illumination, this device has eternal battery life, included normal reading. In this picture, you see a tablet. Tablets and readers are sold roughly around 200 million units per year, new. In this picture here, you can see that, that we have replaced the backside of the device with the solar cell, so making it a structural part of the device. This tablet has an increased battery increase of 35% if you put it under normal indoor illumination. If you put it a little bit close to the window, it will also have eternal life. So always fully charged. You can just imagine what other products we can do. But in order for a new technology to really make it, to really break through, it has to be combined, we think, with a change of behavior. So we have developed an app that allows you to see live how much you charge. In this picture, you can see the number 157%. This is a screenshot. That means that we add 157% to the battery. So if you have 10 days battery life of a product, you would have 25.7 days. That's pretty good. So you will always be able to see how much you're charging. You will learn that if you place your device closer to the window instead of on the desk, you have seven times faster charging. 100 times faster charging if you go out to the sun. Of course, it also works outdoor. But indoor, we are by far the best solar cell in the world. So. In order to make this industry really happen, we had to build a factory as well. The factory is located only a couple of kilometers from here in the city center of Stockholm. This is possible since we have no toxic components and no toxic emissions. We are printing nano inks that we have developed ourselves on proprietary substrates. It can be flexible, such as, such as plastic or, or metal foil or glass. This picture, we, last year we presented Eco Summit, we were 50. Now we are 70. This is a picture from inside the factory. The capacity today is 300,000 square meters or 50 million devices. Uh, we're now planning for the next ramp up, 30 times larger. It's not going to be one big factory, it's going to be many medium sized. Starting with consumer products to really integrate PV in the lives of normal people we're going to then move on to smart homes and IoT. And from there, we're going to move into buildings, because these products, these solar cells, are not sensitive to the incident angle of the, of the angle of the incident light. So when the angle comes from the side, this light, we don't suffer so much as any other cell. They're extra suitable for diffuse light, when there is smog, fog, dirt, all the problems that other technologies really suffer a lot from. And you know that buildings account for roughly 20% of the energy consumption today in the world. So I'm going to start, start. I'm going to leave you with a uh, sneak peek of view of what we think could be the future of a smart home. This is a picture from our conference room. The table here is fully covered with solar cells. We've got batteries underneath. 
So recycling the light from the lamps and some diffuse light from the windows and wireless charging points in the table so you can put your device when you sit in the conference meeting in our factory and just charge your phone wirelessly through the table, recycling the light from the lamps. This is the future as we see it. All available surfaces will be producing power. Hopefully with that Exeter technology. Thank you so much. I have, uh, thank you very much, Giovanni, one or two questions uh, to you. Sure. Can you give us uh, an idea how much capital you raised, um, uh, more or less? So far we've raised around 400 million crowns. 400 million crowns. Mm -hmm. in, in Euro, this is about 40 million. Yeah. And um, what about the automotive sector? Because you are starting with a consumer electronics market, mm. but I think the automotive sector could also be interesting for you, right? The automotive sector is highly interesting, of course. We have met with all the big uh, manufacturers, and we could easily cover the commuting uh, in uh, relevant uh, cities uh, with the relevant cars, no problem. Although that the, in the automotive industry has longer cycles, such as the building industry as well. So it takes many years to come in really to that kind of uh, products. Mm. But we see a great, I mean, development in that sector, also in terms of efficiency, energy efficiency. And so we, we believe that, you know, we want to de-dramatize uh, PV. Today, you know, you need to invest a lot of money to get it on your roof. But if you want this, if you want PV to be part, integrated part of everyone's life, we start with the small things. You would love to have double the battery time of your phone. Mm. Everyone here would love it. Mm. It's very easy to understand. So we, when we have a generation that is educated in this, we think that will, can really make the PV to take off. And how long will it take until we see the first product in the market? Is it a year or two years or three years? Yeah, not, not many years. We, not are many years. We, are now, we have signed three agreements with the companies that are top ten in the world that we do joint development with. Mm. And we have uh, four or five more under negotiation. Mm. So we want to do a global launch once we launch. Okay. I tell yeah. you a secret. I think that is uh, maybe a future unicorn made in Sweden. Okay. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you very see. much, Giovanni. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>